Hey, sign on the dragon if you haven't already subscribed. Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. So let's see what's going on. Let's pull some more of these cards. I don't know, I like these little rando cards. Try to get out as many blank cards as I can so that I can write more stuff on it. Again, if you guys have anything that you want me to read on, please drop it in the comment section. Oh, shit. We got stalker and madly in love. Somebody's madly in love with you stalking you. We got fake friends. Oh, shit. Then we got unconditional love. Same-sex relationship. And then we have bank fraud. Bank fraud. Stalker. Madly in love. Unconditional love. Fake friends. Same-sex relationships. Parents on the bottom of the deck. You, um, interracial relationship on the bottom of the deck. Then we have food poison on the bottom of the deck. We also have pillow talking on the bottom of the deck. Okay. What's stalker here for the collective? Stalker. Stalker. This stalker is a Leo. Possibly a Leo woman. Stalker. This person could be stalking you with their friends. Somebody friends is fake, though. Feeling like they in competition with you. Possibly competing with you for some type of opportunity or something like that. Yeah, stalker. There's somebody stalking the shit out of you. And it is a fire sign. Yes, yeah, so, or it could be somebody here who feels like um, you're a higher friend and they're trying to end out your confidence. Somebody here sees how powerful you are as well. They can see you as um, very valuable or something like that here and they want to end something. This could be somebody here who portrays you in the past as well. This could be somebody who works within a community um, who possibly who, uh, a community of people look up to. So they've been trying to end that out, trying to, um, yeah, somebody here been trying to end that out here. They, but I feel like you're going to be moving for it, moving very soon. You're either moving very soon or you're moving forward very soon. But I see you winning. You're winning here, stalker here. This, yeah, and you're winning in solitude. You shine bright, even though you're a hermit. You could be alone by yourself. You don't bother nobody. You don't mess with nobody. You don't rock with nobody. And somebody here is um, obsessed with you. They're obsessed. They're obsessed, and possibly because you have um, they're they like you blocked your energy out from this person here as well. Maybe you stop fucking with this person or stop fucking with people or something like that. Somebody here regrets it. Yeah, tower card. They experienced the towers because you figured out how to block this person or how to block their energy or something like that. Possibly block their ta attacks and their manipulation. Somebody here could be trying to manipulate you, watching you, trying to control your mind, trying to control how you see things. They're just trying to control every damn thing, whoever this is. This stalker. Somebody here wants control over you. Could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra as well. Could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo as well. They watch you and they stalk you. Let's see, what's fake friends? Fake friends. Gemini Aquarius energy here. Somebody here. Somebody here is communicating to their fake friends about trying to have hope in something or whatever, trying to possibly heal something. Somebody here possibly wants to come towards you, some type of fake friend that you walked away from, somebody from your past who you walked away from. I feel like they're trying to come back in, but you already know they they fake. Yeah, they coming in with the mind games here. Somebody here is trying to rush in with mind games. It's a bad investment. Don't do it. It could be a Sagittarius here. You could be an earth angel here. You're an earth angel who, who, um, yeah, you're an earth angel who they possibly are weighed down by the fact of whatever, by some type of betrayal here. 
Maybe you ended out some type of situation. You ended out a connection or collaboration and chose to protect your energy. And somebody here is all in their mind trying to figure out how to get back in your energy, trying to figure out how to apologize for walking away from you. If they walked away from you, somebody who was listening to a fake friend that was in their energy and they chose to walk away from you, despite this person still watching you, still madly in love with you. Let's clarify madly in love. This could also be, um, if this not this person not madly in love with you, somebody here is, is fake. Yeah, somebody here is worried. They worry about reconciling with you because they know that they 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 sat down and they um, believed some type of lies that were told to them by some type of family or community here. They're worried. They're watching you and worried, madly in love, yeah, because they know they played mind games. They know they put you in competition. They know they were doing things out of envy and jealousy here, madly in love, yeah, and they know that you're holding back from them. You're not going for it, yeah. They want to apologize with the Page of Cups, but they know that they cannot come and apologize because at the end of the day, they it's like, or maybe this person here is trying to plan to come and speak some type of truth to you because they are in love or because they are in love with you or something like that here but uh praise your cuz i don't know just you, you don't 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 get your hopes up when it comes to this person that's what i can say don't get your hopes up when it comes to this this person because they they are um manipulative as hell they're controlling as hell and i feel like this is why you had to close out this cycle with this person who's madly in love with you because they control them they control it, they manipulative, they be lying. This could also be somebody here who possibly hurt you in the past. So possibly a Gemini here. You could have um, um, a child with this person. Somebody here is worried about the connection with their child. This child could be an air sign, an um, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini here. But I feel like you chose to um, end out this cycle and grow in a new way. You could have partnered up with someone and, and found new love here. This past person was karmic and, and devilish or something like that here. What's this? Um, yeah, King of Pentacles. This could definitely be a father. This could definitely be a father figure. Yeah. So let's see. What's this? Um, unconditional love. Someone here has unconditional love for you. Unconditional love. Oh. Unconditional love. Somebody here has an undying, undying um passion for you. They they love they lust for you. Somebody here wants to work with you. Or these people who look up to you at work, they see how bright you shine. They you could be a sun seed or a star seed here. You come from a celestial lineage. Um, and they see in how you work and they see how much how much action you're taking when it comes to your work here. Somebody yeah, somebody here, I feel like you balanced out your energy. You you took the the road less traveled and you're shining bright on this road. You're choosing to heal. You chose healing and you chose to complete out this cycle and going back and forth with this person. And then um yeah, somebody here is weighed down with guilt. They're weighed down with being trapped in this illusion here or trapped in whatever this is, this father figure or this emperor. If this is a divine masculine, someone here is weighed down, trapped, um, replaying all these, replaying all these events, replaying all the times that they sacrificed, they sacrificed you. Um, yeah, replaying all the times that they sacrificed you here, this emperor. Yep. Somebody here is holding back and just sitting back and watching you. They know they can't do nothing. They can't do nothing. They can't come towards you or anything like that. So let's see. What's this bank fraud? Emperor, yeah. What's this bank fraud? Bank fraud. Somebody did bank fraud on you or bank fraud with some type of information of yours. That shit coming back on them. With this Taurus here or this Capricorn or Virgo, this shit coming right back on them. Will of fortune. You the will is about to turn in your favor. I feel like things are about to start moving. Somebody, yeah, things are about to start moving. Your somebody here also could have took some money that was yours and did some type of bank fraud and left you out in the cold. What else is bank fraud? Yeah, your intuition has told you about this shit here. Yeah, injustice is about to come down. 
Yep. Justice is about to come down for whoever that was that just um who took your money here. Yeah, look, you you have a vic you are gonna be having a victory here because you chose to protect your energy and everything that they sent towards you is now going right back to them and it's creating an ending that will possibly result in death. Okay. Who that is that's dying behind this bank fraud? Who that is that's dying? A king of a king of swords could be, um, uh, could be an ex or something like that. It's, it's either it's somebody dying or somebody here just literally is going to be experiencing ending after ending after ending after ending. Like nothing is about to be going right. Somebody here is about to literally feel the curse and the hex that they tried to place on you on their on their own selves every second of the day. King of Swords, which is Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. This will also be somebody from your past, somebody who you were guided to move away from, somebody here who did things to children in the dark, possibly as well. This person is about to reap everything that they've done to you, everything that they've done to you. They're about to be fucked up on. Yeah, regret. Somebody here about to be re regret being greedy as a fuck, trying to take your money here. Who up? It could be in a Cancer or a Pisces. Who could be an Aquarius here? I don't know, but it's some type of evidence that's coming to light that's about to be communicated, and they're about to have some type of conflict. Possibly, they could be going, going and trying to submit some type of final document, and that shit about to blow up in their fucking faces here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What else is this same sex relationship? Same sex relationship. Same sex relationship. Same sex relationship. Empress, Emperor. See you the truth. See you the truth. You you is you expose the truth for the truth about to be exposed to you. Possibly when it comes to a mother or a grandmother figure. This could be you as well. Uh, with the Empress card, somebody who's shining and standing strong on their own, independent, um, same-sex relationship. I do feel like you about to you about to see something. There also could be a child that's being born of um, a same-sex relationship. Balance is about to be restored, possibly for a Libra, a Leo, or a Sagittarius here. Balance is about to be restored when it comes to this relationship. It is protected. Same sex relationship. Yeah, somebody here is healing this connection. There's gonna be some type of healing that comes in. Mm -hmm. Somebody here about to apologize for lying to you. They just want to heal it. Yeah, they could have ghosted you based off of some illusion that they, that their friends was telling them or something like that. Yeah, somebody here with friends was telling them some bullshit about you, so they believed it and they chose to leave you out in the cold. What else was same-sex relationship? There was manipulation going on. It was an illusion here. Some some type of secret's about to come out. Yep. Somebody here was secretly trying to create conflict for you, but that shit about to come out. It's about to be revealed with the moon in reverse. Whatever was done in the dark is about to come out, and justice is about to be served on your behalf. What else? Yeah. Poverty. Somebody here is, fate, is about to be faced with poverty for the actions that they took against you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Message of concern coming in. A message of concern is coming towards somebody. What else do they need to know? Stalker. What else do they need, does the collector need to know about this stalker behind the scenes? Of course, this person's stalking you behind the scenes. It's somebody who you blocked, possibly a twin. Stalker. Stalker. They desire you. This person desires you. Deeply desires you. All they want is they desire you so much that they all they do is sit down, sit around and talk about you. Or this is people who are sitting around watching this person and they spreading rumors about this person. Like, oh, look at him. He's sitting there stuck on that crazy mofo or something like that. <laughs> They think he's going crazy. They think this stalker is going crazy because they're sitting there watching you behind the scenes. 
They're wearing a mask. They can't even be authentic with themselves here. Yeah, purify your energy because somebody here trying to come in with tricks and shit like that. They could be trying to come in with tricks, trying to act like they like you or whatever the case may be. But just be careful here. Be careful with that because this is not the first time that that person has um, come into your energy and then pulled back from your energy playing games and shit. But now they want to they want to play games and play with black, play with black magic and shit. This stalker. Somebody here is addicted to doing black magic. What's fake friends? Fake friends. You got some fake friends, possibly some fake friends from the past. Childish mofos who are going to have to take time to self-reflect on their actions here because they bound to it. They bound to whatever this blackmail is that they try to uh, send on, send towards you or towards this person here. This person could be wanting to apologize for leaving you behind because of the fact that these people are, re they're realizing that these people was lying. Okay. They realizing that these people, the guidance that they gave them was, they was lying. Now somebody here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Fake friends. What else? With madly in love. Madly in love. Madly in love. Transformation. Access denied. So somebody who's madly in love with you cannot come towards you because you block access to this person because you transform. You're no longer in alignment with their vibration. I feel like you had to do this in order to... Um, in order to heal and move forward. And this is causing you to be extremely inspirational to a lot of people here because somebody here, it's like maybe at one point you were madly in love with this person. This person didn't want your love. I'm hearing, she don't want my love. I guess I got to move on. I guess, I guess, I, I came a little too strong. I guess, no, let me stop. <laughs> so, this person, you wanted them. They didn't want you when you wanted them. Now you move forward. You're inspiring people. Now they want to come back and circle a block. It's a fuck no. Phase will soon end though. Okay, somebody here going to have to learn something. Else. Anything else about that? Anything else? This person is now seeing the truth of who you are. Yeah, caution. This is a warning here. Yeah, they, yeah, they were warned not to come towards you or not to come do something here um because they jump to conclusions maybe you got into a new relationship and they jump to conclusions thinking that they were able to um spiritually manipulate this person to leave you or you to leave this person and now they're at their breaking point because the things that they did in the dark playing with that magic and shit is about to be balanced out here because they was overdoing it with the thanksgiving they overdid that shit and somebody here is about to be spiritually bound the fuck up and arrested this um this um person from your past who's madly in love with you they can't get over you i can't stop loving you i can't help myself mm. Mm -mm -mm. i can't get over you now i mean honestly and truly i don't feel bad for this person because you when you wanted them they ain't want you. <laughs> unconditional love. <laughs> Let's clarify unconditional love here. They ain't want you. They ain't want you at all. Unconditional love. Somebody who you have unconditional love is sending you evil eye. They, they, who you have unconditional love for. Maybe you have unconditional love for somebody who you thought was your friend. And secretly, they were sending you evil out the whole time. Sending you down the wrong way. Yeah, they thought that shit was funny here to create blockages in your life. But you continue to grow beyond that shit. And continue to see things from a higher perspective. And they shocked and surprised as things become... As they shit starting to get exposed. They getting exposed left and right. And they confused as to how in the fuck... What the fuck? I thought this person was on drugs. I thought this person was still popping pills. Why is she still not popping pills? Why is she still not snorting coke? What the fuck? <laughs> I thought these lies was going to stick. What the fuck? They all in their feelings, but that shit ain't sticking. All right. Everybody looking at them like, you want some water? <laughs> you want some water, baby? Are you okay? <laughs> Like somebody here is just doing things just thirsty for attention. But then it, and the saddest part of this all is that this is somebody who you showed unconditional love towards. You had unconditional love for this person. 
okay this person you could have been got the download that maybe this person here was not genuinely somebody who you need to keep around you but they did not they they continue you continue to mess with them and they continue to show you even more why you shouldn't have behind the scenes black magic they was doing black magic talking all types of dirt and shit driving you through the mud bank fraud let's clarify bank fraud what's going on with this bank fraud spirit Let's see. Bank fraud. Apology. Somebody wants to apologize. Desires. Apologize. Hidden truth. So this person could have did bank fraud on you. So one of these people here did some bank fraud. And so, you know, they was hiding from their truest self. They secretly desired you, right? And they, you know, they didn't want to exactly tell you that they desired you. So in order to prove a point to the people that they was around, they came towards you to do something, to fuck you up, possibly something with some bank fraud. And now they want to come back and apologize. Shit, apologizing. The only way to apologize is to uh, restore some fucking funds in this motherfucker. Okay, somebody here getting caught up. Look, they now they realizing that the per the people who or the people who influenced them to do this bank fraud was lying. They getting caught up and they getting seen as somebody who's fake here, blackmail bound. They bound to these illusions that they was casting over you. They bound to that shit. This is also somebody here who could be getting caught up in court, lying on you with the bank fraud and shit, trying to be greedy and shit. Now they about to get messed up because they were trying to do the most with some shit that didn't even fucking belong to them. Child, y'all don't give out your Wi-Fi password because niggas don't know how to act. I don't know where that came from, but niggas don't know how to act. I don't know how to act. They play in your face. Get your Wi-Fi, then do some bank shit with your shit. How? I don't know. But, you know, you'll be surprised when it comes to what the fuck people will do and who they know and the extent that people will go to try to destroy you because... They don't love themselves. It's simple as that. Ain't no way in hell you love yourself if you run around being disrespectful and dirty to everybody else around you. Ain't no fucking way you love yourself. Because if you loved yourself, you would know, understand, understand, and understand that anything that you do to anybody else comes right back to you ten times. Shit. Fucking with somebody like me, it's a million times. Anything you anybody gives to me, it comes back a million times strong. You give love to me, you about to feel a bunch of love. Not necessarily because it's coming from me, but because of the universe here. And, and then so with other people, if you do something bad to them, you fuck them up, you do something really bad to them, you can fuck around and lose your whole life by doing something to someone who God ordained as someone who's going to be divinely favored because this person is walking in their destiny. Okay? Be careful how you treat people. It shit on, it's some people you just really cannot fuck with. You just can't. Muse, you're inspirational to a lot of people here, okay? And that's the missing piece of the puzzle that these folks was missing. Where they sitting up there trying to do all this spell work to try to project energy onto you and steal your energy, jump into conclusions or whatever the case may be. Guess what? You about to be balanced out. Everything's about to be balanced out. Rumors, they spreading rumors. They about to be surprised as hell when this shit when when they realize that they shit was blocked. Possibly could have been some type of couple here who was stubbornly doing black magic. Yep. Somebody here was helping me doing black magic. This couple, they was doing black magic over you. <sighs> could have been somebody within a same-sex relationship. They could have been doing black magic on you as well. Try and get you fired from some type of position. What same-sex relationship? What's going on with that? Child. Blackmail. These same-sex relationships. Oh, that's the blackmail. Somebody could have blackmailed you. Um, could have could have spread rumors about you being gay or something like that to try and blackmail you. Now they bound to that illusion, whatever they tried to do. Yeah, they were spreading rumors. You were leveling up though. What's this? Um, missing piece of the puzzle. Evil eye jumping to conclusions. They just jumping to conclusions here, spreading all these rumors. Some gay couple. This could have been a gay couple who was doing this to you. Um, trying to blackmail you. Trying to send you evil eye jumps to conclusions about you um, to try and fuck you up. Yeah. They wasn't missing no pieces of the puzzle. They knew good and damn well. But you still continue to grow. 
that's the part that's that's really messing these people up is that you continue to grow here and look they possibly could have tried to copy you and try to mirror you try to be like you while they were sending evil eye to you making up false documents um photoshopping pictures to try and get all that extra shit listen they about to be surprised when all that shit is blocked because it's going to be publicly known and, and you're going to be able to publicly see. Everybody's going to be able to publicly see that these people is fraud, fake, and that they codependent upon whatever readings or whatever you do. Whatever whatever you submit for work, that's what they do. Somebody here has to, it, it's it's coming to an end. Somebody here was warned to self-reflect as well or they, or it will result in death. They, yeah, it will result in death. Somebody who was warned to end that shit out, stop playing with you, collective, because they gonna fuck around and pass away. Or someone close to them gonna fuck around and pass away. Because not only is these people copying your energy, ciphering your energy, they sending out death spells and all that extra dumb shit on top of it. Somebody here was pretending to be somebody that they weren't behind the scenes, leaving it behind, romantic thoughts. Or this could have been somebody here who secretly left you um, maybe this could, this could also be somebody here who was in a same sex relationship. They could have left you because behind the scenes, um, or yeah, behind the scenes, they wanted someone else or something like that. Here, somebody just was not genuine and authentic with how they felt. Okay. And so this is what caused, um, a cleansing of this person's energy here because they, if they were not able, they were not able to, um, be honest with their feelings for you with their feelings in general they were not able to be honest all they everything that someone everything that this couple did the same sex with couple everything they did they about to come back soon breaking point new years and ancestors your ancestors was trying to tell these stubborn folks to stop somebody who was getting visits and dreams from people's from your ancestors to telling them to stop because when this tower fall it's gonna fall they ignore all the signs and the symbols and kept hiding this shit. This is somebody who secretly cares a lot about you as well. This could have been somebody who felt as though maybe you weren't into the same sex or something like that, but they secretly wanted to have a same a same sex relationship with you. They secretly wanted to be with you. This could have been a girl who was copying everything you do because she's secretly in love with you and want to fuck on you. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I should have said it like that, but. Yeah, she thought that she wasn't going to be rocking with her. And come to find out, you like to eat the box. And now somebody feeling stupid. <laughs> Inspirational cleanse. And uh, yeah, caught up. Somebody's actions and getting their asses caught. Defuck up. They caught up. Caught up. All you had to do was say something. Say something good to me. Hey, boo, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> spell work, they spell work. It's caused you to level up while they sitting there acting foolish. While they bound, they bound to that school, by, to that uh, spell work. You over here, relax, cool, and content. They bound to the illusions that they were spinning in. Somebody here, all that, I'm telling you, I feel like whoever you are collective, somebody here literally just had to say it. If they had this, if they had a came to you and said it, y'all could have teamed up and actually got some shit done. But somebody chose to make you their enemy and they chose to fucking go against you and they mess themselves all the way the fuck up. This person is these people, the person is obsessed with you. Whoever this is. They I'm not talking about obsessed, obsessed to the next level, obsessed. Shocked at how strong and how much you're growing. They're shocked at how much you're growing because it's like they laughed at your gifts. And now they grateful for your gifts because they going through the same shit you going through and you got the missing pieces to their puzzle. All right, y'all. That's what I have for y'all. Again, please let me know if you want me to read on a specific subject or do uh, a specific reading for a specific sign. Let me know. I am probably just going to be doing readings for signs sporadically. I cannot promise you that I will post every single sign every single day because honestly, that's just not realistic for me in this time. But if you comment and say you want a reading for a specific sign, I got you. You want a reading on a specific subject? I got you. So let me know. Also, subscribe to my new channel, um, Scorpio Siren on the Dragon. I will be doing all Scorpio readings on that channel. I'll see you in the next one.